Alright guys, thank you for joining in. In this video, I'm actually going to give you guys an extra like little bonus scene where I'm going to, well bonus um, time where I'm going to talk to you guys about, I'm going to give you guys my most educated opinion about why or what's going on with the migrants about Mexico and Venezuela and United States. I'll give you guys like honestly, just watch the video, I'm not going to spoil it, just watch the video. I'm going to translate where Juan Guaido has auto-proclaimed himself as president of Venezuela not caring about Nicolas Maduro being, you know, president by by legal rights. Venezuela vive uno de los momentos clave en su historia. Miles de venezolanos han visto en Guaidó una luz. So Venezuela right now is in its uh, one of its most historic moments. Esperanza para salir de la crisis por la que atraviesan mientras otros as citizens have uh, decided to have hope in this this man named Juan Guaidó to change the country's uh, destiny. Muestran fielmente su respaldo a Maduro. Los países más poderosos, Estados Unidos y Rusia, tienen a su preferido. Ese es nuestro. And well, United States and Mexico, I mean, United States and Russia have their, um, you know, their candidate. So a new chapter is written in Venezuela. The, op the opposition and leader of the National Assembly, Juan Guaido, has auto proclaimed himself as president of Venezuela. Not caring about the uh, government of Nicolas Maduro. Venezuela erupted in uh, violent manifestations and riots. And those riots uh, have oppo opposition and the ones that are in favor of Maduro. So there have been reported 16 dead already and there are dozens that are, have been injured. And that even in countries like Mexico and other countries around the world, Venezuelan communities have manifested themselves for, in favor of Guaido. So a lot of communities in different in different countries around the world that have Venezuelans on them have have showed their pride and and I guess wanting Juan Guaido as the new president instead of Nicolas Maduro and they're right because Nicolas Maduro drove Venezuela into a shithole that you guys are, are are saying you know what I mean like Venezuela is a shithole ladies and gentlemen let me just tell you that but right now it says that Bolivia Russia Turkey Cuba and Mexico are still helping and are having the backs of Maduro you know they're with Maduro on this one. And I'll tell you, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why at the end of the video. That's that's a little educated opinion that I was gonna give you guys. United States, Argentina, and Brazil have recognized the new government of Gua of of the president Guaido of Venezuela. Wow. So Maduro even even is like. Kicking, kicking out some United States diplomatics, diplomats in Venezuela. Like he's get out of here. Maduro or Guaido. So there's man, who's gonna be the triumph one? Yeah. So look, this is my this is my honest opinion about all this, and I wanted to bring it out now that this is happening in Venezuela because this is huge too, guys. Like honestly, this is huge news, man. Venezuela's been just going down and down and down. I mean, like it looked like if if it was gonna have to sell itself and not become a, a country no more, it was gonna have to sell itself to somebody else. You know what I mean? It was gonna get annexed to like um, Colombia or something, or I don't know Argentina. I mean, I don't know, but something was gonna have to happen. Someone's gonna buy that country. So let me tell you guys what's going on right now. My most educated guess is telling me after seeing everything that is happening, after I'm seeing the UN Migration Compact actually in effect in Mexico, I think that Mexico did this to get back at the United States for all the for all the years of, of you know hate and problems between each other and the lack of help, the lack of interest between each other and stuff like that. I think um, Amlo's read. I'm t I think secretly Amlo's doing that. Honestly, for me, for me, I think that's what's going on. Why do you think? Uh, Amlo's government has let them get a free pass, a visa. You know, he's obviously, he's obviously disguising it as you know what. And I'm not even gonna say disguising it because he's being realistic. Like he's obviously saying, you know what, you guys have a chance right here. You guys have a chance in Mexico. Go for it, like that. Simple. 
You know, he's just being re realistic with the with the migration compact um, in effect, and not giving not giving too much care about what happens with the migrants if they go over there or they stay right here. Like, he doesn't care. Like we we're watching that, we're seeing that, and as of the Venezuela, uh, uh, I think I think Mexico is choosing Maduro for two reasons. One reason is because Maduro is president legally by legal right, right, and then at the same time. Uh, Maduro doesn't want Guaido, like this is the opposite, like this is a secret side that I want to give you guys my opinion about. Mexico doesn't want Guaido to be um, the president because he's a socialist too. Like, he's a socialist too and he knows that if he, um, if he has the power of, of the, the whole country, he's going to do the best interest for the country, um, uh, logically speaking. So he's going to, the oil, oil prices, he's going to put them at international levels you know in an orderly fashion like he's gonna he's gonna bring everything back up he's gonna try to raise his country back up out of this poverty stricken uh country third it's not even fourth world bro like this well i'm not gonna say fourth world third world country that is is really in depth like it's the inflation on the money makes the money nothing man they carry stacks of money so just to be just to be um right on right on what i'm trying to say is mexico wants maduro because Mexico needs oil to get it get its own self back to how it was back then before all this oil crisis happening in the Huachicoleros. Once they get the refineries up and running, because they only have about one or two refineries right now, and if they get more refineries, like trust me, Mexico is gonna lower their gas prices and ex start exporting just like um just like United States kind of does, and tr oil prices are gonna be the oil business is gonna be back to golden age, how they say right here, la gallina de oro right here in Mexico. So I think Mexico's trying to keep Maduro to keep this dumb president right there so he could buy oil at a desperate time from him, Maduro, or he could just make the best price available for Mexico. And if he gets Guaido, well, Guaido's gonna try to elevate the price. I'm not saying that they could work together potentially, but that's I think that's Amlo's mentality. He's trying to be a key player in the oil business so he could, cause you know, Mexico has oil. You know what I mean? But it's gonna take. Uh, it's gonna take. Um, is they're gonna struggle to bring it back how it was back then? Cause Mexico had oil, but you know these corrupt officials, these corrupt politicians, ruined it. So that's just my humble opinion. I know. It, I know it seems pretty. Uh, pretty weird. But that's my. That's my most educated opinion of what's going on. My educated guess of why uh, Amlo is is letting all this happen and why Amlo is in favor of Maduro. That's that's my opinion, guys. What do you guys think? Serious, serious. What do you What do you guys think?